In the last episode, Rector modernized our entire code base with constructor property promotion and arrow functions. But modern code can still have hidden bugs. I'm Harris from Laravel News, and today Laravel catches type errors before they reach production. Let's get right to it. So even after Rector modernized our code, we can still have type safety issues that only appear at runtime. Let me show you a real example from our order model. Let's go in for period we used to have. You can see that query down here returns the query without chaining. So this runs fine in development, but what if someone passes an invalid period in production? What happens then? This will fail silently in this case. The math expression here returns query, but doesn't explicitly throw an error or chain properly, you know? So Larastan finds these issues before users hits them. Let's show you what Laristan is to begin with. Laristan is a code analysis tool built on top of PHP Stan, and it was created by Khan, Vural, and Nuno Maduro, and it's the perfect way to have static analysis for your Laravel application. So let's go ahead and install it pretty quickly. Composer require Laristan, Laristan, and we're gonna install 3.0 as a version. So let's go back to our terminal. Let's run Laristan installation. And the next part, as you can see from the documentation, is we need to create a PHP stand.neon.dist file in the root of our application. So let's go ahead and do that. Quick shout out to CodeRabbit, who's sponsoring this video. CodeRabbit CLI checks your code right in your terminal. And it works with tools like Cloud Code or Cursor. And it's perfect for Laravel developers just like us. When you use Cloud Code or Cursor to write Laravel code, CodeRabbit checks it before you save it. It catches problems in your database queries, your migrations, and all your Laravel code, things that are easy to miss. It finds the stuff that slows down your app or makes it unsafe, like when you accidentally ask the database too many times or when you forget to load data the smart way. CodeRabbit knows Laravel very well, so it catches these problems. And the best part is that you don't have to leave your editor. You write code in Cloud Code or Cursor or whatever have you. CodeRabbit checks it right there in your terminal and can even fix things automatically. You stay in your flow the whole time. It works for PHP and Laravel and it's free. Just run one command to install it and you're done. And then CodeRabbit checks every piece of code you write before you even push it. Check out CodeRabbit CLI. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to building Laravel stuff. Let's go and run touch. And we need a php start neo file. Let's go and open up php start. I'm going to copy some configuration I have here and we're gonna discuss this. So what do we have here? So we do have the includes property where it says that we we are going to include Laristan extension that neon. We do pass some parameters as paths, for example. We are going to do exactly the same like we did with Rector PHP. We're gonna use this for app directory and test directory. And Maybe we start with level one instead. What do you say? Let's start with level one to see how this goes. And maybe we can move up to the next level if, if we manage. Let's go now back to our terminal and let's run vendor bin php stun analyze. It does user configuration as you can see down here. And we do get only one error at the moment. What does it say? php stun process crashed because it raised configured memory. Okay. So it's not like an actual error yet. It's only a memory error. So we need to fix that before we move forward. So let's last analyze, but in this case, we're going to add a memory limit and we're going to add 512 megabytes instead. So memory limit equals 512 megabytes. Let's run this again. And now with more memory, we should see Laristan running as expected. Yeah, and as you can see, it did find five errors. The first error is that in our generate daily sales report, the constructor invoked with one parameter, but zero parameters are required. We do have some more errors down here, as you can see, for example, the sales report service, relation items is not found in app models order model. And then we do have some issues in our tests. Sales report service test, access to an undefined property service in a test case. And inside our pest.php file, undefined variable this. As you can see, we did find those five errors. So let's go ahead and fix them one by one. The first one will be generate daily sales report service. So let's go in there. So error number one is that we're passing report data to a mailable that doesn't accept it. 
If we go inside our mailable, we'll see that the constructor doesn't accept the property and this will break in production. Let's go in our constructor here and make sure that this accepts our parameters. So public, let's make it a read only array report. And now our constructor accepts the report. The second error has to do with our order model. The error is that the relationship exists, but Larastan needs type hints. The error is inside our sales report service. So let's go in sales report service. And this is exactly where the error happens. Larastan can't find the items relationship, but we know it exists. The relationship exists, but Larastan in this case needs type hints. So we need to add PHP doc to the order model. Let's go to the order model now. So here at the top, we're going to add property read, illuminate database eloquent collection, and we're going to pass integer and the order items. And then we add the property of items here as well. So this means that when someone accesses order items, they'll get an eloquent collection where the keys are integers and the values are order items models, even though the property doesn't physically exist in the class code. Let's now find our items function as well. And here, we need to add the has many as a return type. Let's import that. Let's now go ahead and run PHP stand to see where we stand. We have three more errors, so we fix the first two, which is expected. Let's go back to our code and let's open now sales for service test. So the error in this case is access to undefined property test case service. Okay, if we check up here, this service is the issue because when we run the test, it cannot identify what this service actually is. So the way to fix this is by adding a PHP doc annotation. Let's go up here and let's add property sales report service, mention the service. And now this service is linked to the sales report service in this case for Larastan. So the simple PHP doc passed on what pest creates dynamically. Now error number four. So the error here is that it cannot identify what this service actually is. We will need to remove the before its function and add the service inside the actual call here. So let's remove before it and let's call this directly inside here. Let's add the correct parentheses. Let's go now and run PHP stand again. And we should be down to two errors now. One error. Perfect. Even better. Last but not least, we need to go inside our pest.php file and check why we get this undefined variable this. So let's go back to pest.php file. We can hear, and this is the issue. It cannot identify this for some reason. To be honest, this is not something that we use at the moment. We don't really want this expectation. So let's remove that. Let's run PHP stand again. And now everything is fixed. Let's also run composer test just to make sure everything works from the other side, from rector PHP in our tests. Perfect. So all our five bugs are now fixed. These would have caused production errors for sure, but Larastan caught them during development. And this is key in this case. So let's go back now and increase our PHP stun level to level five. And let's run our Larastan again one more time. Let's see how many errors we will get now. In this case, 10 more errors. As you can see, the higher the level, the more strict it becomes. But at the moment, we're going to keep this in level one because this is a fun project. And I mostly want to showcase to you how to catch errors before getting them to production. So we'll keep it to level one for now. But you are very welcome to open a pull request to our repository and increase the level, of course. So how to use Larastan in your daily workflow? Make Larastan part of your daily workflow with Composer scripts. Again, just like Rector, let's go to our Composer, JSON. Let's go up here and create a new script. We're gonna call this PHP stand and then we'll call vendor bin PHP stand analyze and let's add some memory. Memory limit equals one gigabyte. And now, we can also add this after rector. So let's go down here and let's call it just done. Now let's go and run Composer test. First thing is rector PHP, rector is done. Then the second part is Larastan and then we run our tests. Pretty straightforward and pretty cool workflow if you ask me. We have one command that validates everything. This is modern code 
type safety and tests all in one. We built a complete Laravel optimization and quality workflow. We got this to be much faster with caching, modern code with Rector, and bulletproof types with Larastan. Your code is now fast, modern, and type safe. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Laravel News for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit this hype button in your mobile app. See you in the next one.